Welcome back everyone, this is Fox. This is going to be a short video, well, hopefully about 5-10 minutes long. Just to show you how I um, skip advance to investors. Um, I see a lot of people, they will... I mean, let's just have a quick look over this island. You can see, it's, there's a lot here. There's probably going to be 50, 60,000 investors by the time I'm finished. I see a lot of people um, trying to create the whole island in Farmers First and then upgrade all of them tier by tier. That takes a massive amount of resources, a massive amount of time, and I personally think this sort of skip advancing method that I use is a lot, lot easier. I'll show you what I mean. Um, we're going to base everything around a town hall, mainly because I'm using some items to give me a market and a school. It's one less thing I've got to build in here and then move and ship it around. I've got a uh, university on the sideline here, which will uh, help us get from artisans to engineers and upwards. But yeah, the easiest way to do this, I find, is to fill your warehouses with all the goods that they're going to need through the tiers. I mean, you don't even have to I'll fill them as long as you've got a good out. stop. Hang on a minute. There's always something going on. As you can see, in these warehouses, I've got all the goods that they're going to need to get us through the tiers. I've got fish, clothes, that gets us out of farmers, and I've got sausages, bread, to get us out of workers. I've got canned food, coats, the penny farthings to get us into bad. artisans, should be bread as well, bread. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. And coffee, obviously, to get you from engineers to investors. I've got coffee paused on engineers so that any coffee I've got being transported here is being used just to get us from engineers to investors. You can see I've paused it. I've got glass production and um, light bulb production being shipped to this island just so that they, they've got a little summer and they don't delete. Because if you don't give them items, obviously, the house houses get deleted. So yeah, I'm going to show you how quick it is to skip from nothing to investors when you've got all the warehouses stocked and obviously you've got the building materials to do it. You can see I've got quite a lot of building materials at the top. I know this is going to need a lot of wood, so I've got a lot of wood and steel waiting in the wind as well here that we can uh, unload when we need it. So less time. We've got three minutes on the clock already, so let's see how long this is going to take. I'm going to do everything inside this trade union bubble just for the purpose of this little tutorial. While we wait for these to fill up, we'll have a quick look around the island. Um, you can see the trade union uh, town hall coverage I've got. Virtually the whole island. There's these little black spots in between the town halls which aren't going to get covered by the markets and that these places also they're not going to get covered by the boosts that i get when i put them in later on so these places i try and fit stuff if i can you can see i've got a bank here um these ones i have just filled in i've sort of grew the investor houses and then filled them in because they won't have uh, the market and stuff inside the town hall to to boost to get me there yep I think we can get that one as well, can we? Yeah. So we're at a minute already. I've tried this before. I think it takes seven minutes. You're better off doing it, doing it in a cluster like this of around about 50 houses if you can because you need a certain amount of people to progress through each tier. You don't want to just try upgrading a little bit like this. It will take forever. I normally do two of these, trade, these uh, town hall clusters, if I'm honest, in one go. got glass production ready on the island because I will be making the champagne. I've left this bit down here to grow my crops. I think I'm going to put the champagne cellars around this trade union here. Probably just move him. So we're almost ready to go up to the next stage. This bank's covering near enough the whole island. I've got two. 
Those two banks pretty much covering the whole line. Everything's electrified. That's just over two minutes, two minutes, 15 seconds to get to the workers. We see eye to eye. I've got one, two, three, four, five power plants. These are all being boosted by these two specialists. This magnetist, he produces extra oil for nothing. And so does this bloke produce extra oil. If we go to the statistics. You can see the amount of oil I need is 60 and I'm producing, well, nearly half. So half of the oil I need is being produced by specialists. Every one of these has got those two specialists. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Looks fair, but there's mold in the wall. It's three minutes. This is how I do all of them. Uh, this I've done this bit this morning. You can see what we've got here. This probably took me an hour and a half. So the whole island in total is probably going to take three hours to get from nothing to full investors. It's a lot, lot quicker than trying to keep the production going. Keep I all the engineers right, bobbish with the machine. Keep all the different tiers stocked. It becomes a right pain. Members club. Oh, there's a champagne cellar. I've already laid it out. I've got the quartz, sand around here as well, ready to go. Full trade union and Harbour Master's office, co Harbour Master's office covered. That's nearly five minutes to get to our zones. It's probably gonna be 10 minutes. It's still a lot, lot quicker. Palace is at oh, I've got some more now. It's at level 100 finally. Got no windows because I've been pinching them all for this project. Tally ho, nothing worse than those bohemians. Ours will be the biggest. So we've got enough to get us through. Penny farmings, coffee. These two tend to go down the fastest. The uh, sewing machines and coach. You need to cope, keep an eye on them. You could set up a trade route uh, between your islands to keep it stocked, but I generally don't. I just keep an eye on it and manually fill it back up as and when it needs it. An aviary is fine when it looks not over forest. <laughs> Churches there just to keep these happy. I found that it was getting riots because I'm not producing any of the luxury needs for these as I'm sk skipping through the tiers. If I got distracted and went off for a while and left these at artisans, I'd come back and there'd be riots because they didn't have any of their luxury items. So 
Always make sure there's a church there for the artisans. Um, I've got schnapps in here for the workers and the farmers. Engineers, luxury items covered by the coffee. That's eight minutes to get to engineers. So it's probably going to be ten minutes. To be honest, I thought it was quicker, but... Definitely the easiest way. The only thing you need to do is make sure you've got a constant supply of building materials coming in. It uses an insane amount of wood. Windows, concrete, not so much. Steel, a fair bit, but the most amount of building material you need is wood. When upgrading this way. Celebrate your leadership. A fire broke out. We're on the brink. Fire nine minutes. Back. Can't be far off now. Again, it's certainly not the perfect formula. There you go, first investor. So it's a little under ten minutes. But as I say, if you've got the building materials, I would normally do two town halls at a time. So you're talking a fair few thousand investors within ten minutes. whack at my when it gets to this stage anyway not a very exciting video I mainly wanted to do it just to show you how long it takes and how easy it is once you stock the warehouses up there's no need to well if you're playing for population like I do there's no need to have shed loads of engineers farmers or workers just hanging around you've got to supply them don't do it get to investors as fast as you can they make you the most money and you get the most people per house so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching.